Well, it's getting on late October and I think we're running out of nice weather. It's supposed to be 75 today, so I think I'm going to take this for a ride to warm the engine up and change the oil in it. This is the oil. This is all the same. These are just older jugs. This one's full and that one's, it takes a quart and a half, so I'll probably use this. I bought oil and then I found out my brother had got some oil because he changed oil in it early in the spring. And uh, so this is the leftover oil that I'm going to use in it. It's for wet, it says right on it, for somewhere for wet clutch right there. And uh, this is too. I think it says it over here somewhere. But anyway, we're going to change the oil in this. And a few of you wanted to see a video on it. It's really no big deal. I greased the fittings. It's got two grease fittings. Greased them about a month ago. But yeah, I've put probably close to 500 miles on it this summer. I've ridden it more this year than I have in years. It's been fun to have it around here to ride it. So I'm going to, like I say, I'm going to get the oil changed. And then the next, oh, month or so, I'm run it, take it, throw it in the back of the pickup and take it back out to my brothers for the winter. engine's nice and warm now and I got a 19 millimeter socket. The drain plug is the filter also. It has a filter screen in it so we'll get it oops, break it loose and then I'll kind of because it runs into the pan if I or into this if I don't uh, level it up and even then it still does. I could take that off it's easy enough to get off but this is easy enough to do too. It's a little messy changing oil on this. That's why a cardboard's kind of a must when I do it. That's a screen for the filter or the spring for the filter. I assume the fil yeah, the filter is still there's the filter screen. So I'll let that drain, clean the filter screen, put it back in, refill it with oil. I took this in and sprayed it out with brake clean and blew it out with compressed air. Same with this. This will collect sediment in the bottom if needed. So it's the drain plug filter combo. There is a centrifugal filter in the engine behind this cover. I cleaned that when I took it apart to change the clutch. It wasn't really that bad, the, the centrifugal filter. But yeah, this drain plug is kind of a pain in the rear to pour, pour design with the filter right there and with it because starting the, the drain plug can be difficult with that spring wanting to push it one way and myself wanting to push it another way so I just got to kind of horse with it a little bit here I don't know if I can shove this up in there to where it belongs usually it just falls out and I don't want it to fall in my pan of dirty oil so I'm just gonna put it in try and get it in like this and get that thing started there it goes socket and everything's all oily hard to turn when it's oily it's my fingers hopefully my head wasn't too much in the video there I just noticed that it's right close to my cameras right close to my head there
All right, there we go. I have to wipe some of the oil out of this skid pan because it kind of runs into that a little bit. There's no real avoiding it. You know, I, it's two bolts here and I could loosen up that one and take these two out and the skid pan's off. So it's easy to take off if I need to, but it's just as easy to just shove a paper towel up in there and kind of soak up that oil that spilled in it. And then I'll just leave it over some cardboard for a day or two and we'll finish dripping out. But that's That looks pretty good, so let me see if I can handle a camera without getting it too oily. So you can see the, the oil wasn't too terribly bad. And there's the oil drain thing up in there. And it takes a quart and a half, so let me fill it up with oil here. It takes states right on it to use 1040 oil, so that's what I use in it. And then I get the proper stuff for the bikes with the clutch, so let me put the oil in it. I'll start it up and... Make sure it's in neutral. And give it a a little warm up. Check the oil level. On it. Get a little gas to get the oil all circulated in the centrifugal filter. Yeah, for my new subscribers, I got this bike brand new. That should be run long enough. Turn it off and check the oil level. So this bike, you check the level with the stick not screwed in. You just set it in the hole like so. Pull it out and it's right on the full mark. That's a quart and a half of oil in the crankcase. So we're ready to go for another little ride with it with some clean oil on it.
There we go. All nice oil changed and everything. All ready for the winter. I even rode it to the gas station at Marathon with the recreational alcohol free or ethanol free recreational fuel and filled it with gas. That's 89 octane, which was what regular gas was when this bike was new. And that's what this bike is supposed to have is 89 octane. So there we go. Completely done. If you like the video, definitely hit the like button. If you like my channel, you can hit that 348 engine icon that powers uh, Bel Air. And thank you for watching my videos.